Hello. Today is the day we take on Champion Leon. At long last. Let's go, gamers. There he is. A target. Target acquired. The tents still air on the pitch. And the exact opposite from the audience cheering and yelling. They're both fantastic, wouldn't you say? But remember, the audience is a bit cruel. They want nothing, nothing more than to see one of us lose after all. I can fool with absolute fear knowing that. But I absolutely love pushing past the fear. I love giving it everything I've got as a trainer and seeing my team give everything they've got to see another victory. It's the greatest feeling in the world and I can't get enough of it. I can feel my partners itching with anticipation inside the Pokeballs. We're going to have a real champion time. I'm the Galar region's champion, Leon. Me and Charizard and the rest of our team will use all our knowledge and experience to crush you completely. Wait, hold on. Hey, look at the monitor. What's going on on the big screen? Oh, fucking hell. Hello there, Leon and Eli. Just letting you know. I think it's time I brought us about the darkest day. For the sake of Galar's future, of course. Oh, bro, come on. But I'm a bit of a pickle. The energy released by the darkest day is too much for us to contain. I'm sorry I had to come to this, but it's you who forced my hand, Leon. You refuse to listen. Nah, shit. Lee, Eli. That video stream. That's from Hamlock Stadium, right? What in the world did the chairman do? I don't know, but everything he did was saying yesterday. He really, Did he really pull this crazy stunt just to solve some problem a thousand years in the future? I've got to see what's going on. I'm the champion. I have to go. I should have realized what the chairman intended to do before it came to this. I'll take my responsibility now for fixing this mess. This is real champion time. But Lee, your terrible decisions. <laughs> on top of my brother Eli, I've got to, but I can't even manage to beat you. So what sort of help could I ever be? You can help. Easy for you to say. Hold the phone. The channel was talking about the darkest day. You know, the sky went dark. He just right here. What's he mean? What's he bringing about? Did we uh, uh, hear that name? The statue of the hero. Sonya said something about it back then, didn't she? But it turned out to be wrong, since there were actually two heroes and all that. Still, those who managed to bring an end to the darkest day with the sword and shield Pokemon might still be sleeping somewhere, though. Right? We should try and find them, Eli, but where should we start looking? The slumbering world. That's it, Eli. I'm sure it must be the slumbering world. That illusion you tried to fight off that day. It must have been the Pokemon sleeping there. Let's go back to the slumbering world. If we're lucky, we'll find something that can help. Huh, Eli and Hop? Ah, oh, I completely forgot about the championship match. What are you two doing here? Have you been watching the tournament? The tournament's off, Sanya. I oh, hate mum. The chairman saw to that and sending the entire region to a state of havoc. Huh? What? What happened while I was researching things in the slumbering world? Well, for starters, it's a great black storm or something raging over Hamlock Stadium. Why they're calling it the, the darkest day? It's when everything's disarray. Still, I'm sure we don't need to worry too much. Your beetle champion will take care of everything, won't he? Don't hold a hold on a tick, ma'am. Did you say the darkest day? The darkest day is the name of the black storm that nearly brought the Galar region to ruin in ancient times. So, what are you here for, Eli? I'm here to stop the darkest day. To stop the darkest day? You mean you're going to search for the sword and shield Pokemon? Okay, here. I'll take this. You send to the slumming world. I'll catch up with you once I'm done looking for something that's bothering me. Well, then Max arrives. Gang gang. Let's go. All that matters is what you do. You can become a fine Pokemon trainer after all. Thanks, Mom. Ready for this, Eli? I wonder what we're about to head straight into. A wall of fog again? Not that they're bothered us now, we've both grown. Going into that follow us after Wulu that day? That was sort of something, wasn't it? A legendary beginning, really. I reckon whatever we're about to see will be pretty legendary itself. Let's head in and add another page to our tale. 
Hinting at legendary Pokemon, perhaps? Ah, uh, we're gonna avoid the Rookadi. Oh, <laughs> I saw the glow. A blip bug, oh no. I'm gonna kill it for the Watts, I need the Watts. Beaned. Absolutely. <laughs> One XP. Very epic. Nice. Sorry to bother you, blip bugs. This is kind of kind of vibey, you know. Oh, oh, Galarian Weezings. Okay. Four beetles. The works. Munners? Hell yeah, I love Munner. I have no idea where we're supposed to be going. Oh, never mind, found it. <laughs> well, where does that lead you? Back to me. What's with this fog? It's even worse than the first time we came here. It's all the glare and wheezings, man. Have you not seen them? Ah, shit. Oh, there's two of them this time. Oh, god, oh, fuck. I'm not even going to try and do that. They are really here. The Sword and Shield Pokemon. I knew it. Ah, and they're gone. But they're still there, but not. Because they've gone. Hey, where are you going? We need your help over here. You two. What in the world are you doing? Oh my god, they're gonna... They're gonna be like... Appearing as her. She's a she's a mirage. Hop, oh, you sure you haven't lost the plot? There's no one here but the two of you. What? Were this just illusions or something? This is an illusion! Or not. Listen, I dug into some literature from other regions. I finally found something. Mentions of the sword Pokemon. Zashin and Zamazita. Those writings said the two Pokemon were born somewhere beyond the slumming world. Sometime long, long ago. Did they really? Ta, Sonya, thanks for digging into it. So maybe it's not an illusion? Even if it's just an illusion Pokemon or whatever. Let's go. Cheers, love. Ooh. Very fancy. Do -do 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 -do. We'll just take it off that, Eli. Now that's something you don't see every day. This place definitely feels like the stuff of legend. It's a sword and a shield. Wow. Would you look at that? It's a very small shield. <laughs> See that, Eli? The sword and the shield. The legends really were true. Yo. You obtained a rusted sword. Ah, oh, lovely. And here we'll take the shield. But wow, would you look at the state of this thing? Seems like it might fall to pieces if you so much as look at it funny. I don't know if these rusty old things will really be able to stop the darkest day, but well, I guess it can't hurt to have them along. Let's hope they bring us some good luck. Maybe the Pokemon themselves are really still asleep somewhere. It seems we're on our own if you want to go help Lee. This is all the help we've got. I want to put the sword in there, but I guess we're going back this way. It's a very nice area, though. Looks very epic. Okay, back we go. So we back in the mine. A 
smoke ball. Is that a stun? That's a Galarian Stunfist just chilling there. I see you. Muna. I'm really hoping I don't run into a Pokemon because I just want to get out of here. I assume that's what we got to do. Just kind of left top there, you know. So many Rookities and Blip Bugs. I don't want to fight. Okay, we made it. Is this even where we're supposed to go? Yeah, Hammerlock. Oh, Hammerlock. Good to fly there. Yep, <laughs> there we go. Sorted. There's Rehan. Just opening a bottle of bottle of drink. Hello there, sir. Well, if isn't Ian Hop, it's a real shame the way things have turned out. You make it all the way to the championship match, and then something like this has to happen. And Chairman Rose thinking about all that energy pouring from the darkest day would somehow be a key to saving Galar's future. All seems a bit mad, if you ask me. I can't follow how that's supposed to work. I'm going here to tell my brother. Okay, you think no one's been harmed? We gym leaders work together with the city's Pokemon. We got everyone evacuated. I feel fixing to our chairman, champion to save everyone in Galar's region. Of course I am. Our greatest ever champion and the greatest ever challenger along with his fiercest rival all team up against the darkest day. I almost feel sorry for it. Go on then, our great challenger into Hamlock Stadium with you. Let's get this bread! Oh, it's a Leonard again. Fucking hell. Chill out, lass. Jim Chan, you must help me. I mean, I mean, please help me. My Pokemon said you Dynamax for some reason, so I'm running amok in the stadium. Rehan, I mean, Mr. Rehan was able to do my Dynamax for one in the stadium, but. If other Pokemon can Dynamax go on a rampage. The underground power plant will collapse. Mr. Rose is down there right now. I know this is me, but I must beg your assistance. If you enter the underground power plant, stop Mr. Rose. Mr. Rose has awakened a Pokemon known as Eternatus. Apparently, the energy emitted from its body is what causes Dynamaxing. Ah, oh, shit. Bloody hell. I'll do it. Fucking hell. Okay, Elena. Sure. Bloody hell, this is mad, isn't it? Hey, what? What? What is this? We, we need help, Lee. Bro, chill out, alright? And what do you plan on doing, Jim Challenger? Stopping the darkest day, my friend. Uh, pardon? What are you talking about? There's nothing to stop now. We've already brought about the darkest day, or should I say, the ultimate Pokemon. Eternatus? Must I explain myself? From your perspective, I support. It must be seem that I'm doing something terrible. But I, I don't expect you to understand. I must provide Gilar region with limitless energy to ensure its everlasting prosperity. It is my purpose, my duty, my destiny. That's why we've been giving the wishing stars to Eternatus. S Surely you remember the red light that caused the ruckus around Hammerlock. It was all part of the experiments to awaken Eternatus. You must understand, I can't even interfere with my plan to protect the future of Galar. Alright, I'm just gonna crush you. Easy collapse. You're trying to run Marco Cosmos's Rose. Alright. A Scavalier. I mean, I brought Randall because I thought I was going to bow the champion, but it's, it's Gucci. I'll kill you. Thinking about camping. We'll be able to camp after this battle is done. After we've defeated the champion, I mean. We'll have a nice camping trip to rest. You're pretty tough. 
Yes, entirely too tough. Don't you think that's unfair? Not at all, you're setting up on me. I don't think that's unfair at all. This music, holy shit. This is epic. Beaned. Ferrothorn. Yes, I will. Okay. Let's get him. Epic. Bet. Clink clang. Nope. No need. What's it with you and steel types? No oh, wild charge, okay. Epic, I guess. <laughs> I mean, you just got whipped. Which? Turn on into your laddie. Alright. Berserker. Hello there, mans. We did it, Reddit. Ooh, Dragon Rush. Not sure. Ooh, physical 100. Hmm. I'm not going to. Copperaja. On Jabro? Uh oh. Down to my last Pokemon. Hmm, <laughs> this isn't looking too good. He's gonna have a fucking Gigantamax Copper Rush, aren't he? Yep. Yeah, I'll show you a move that hits so hard you'll be speechless. Oh my god, big blocky man. Versus Sense Scorch. <laughs> that a lot of damage. A Psychic type move on a Bug type. Bro, are you tripping? The battlefield got weird. And you're done. Goodbye, Kaporaja. We did it, Reddit. I'd forgotten how great Pokemon battles are. It's been so long since I battled, that sure was satisfying. Most impressive, Eli. I wouldn't expect any less from a challenger endorsed by the strongest champion to ever grace our beloved Galar region. I really do wish I could have seen the champion match between you two. I'm terribly sorry to ruin the whole gym challenge and everything. It's too bad, it, but it can't be helped. In order to solve the energy issue as soon as possible, we awakened Eternatus, but we couldn't control it. The champion came to aid me, even at the cost of abandoning the match. Indeed, it was like a knight in shining armor coming to rescue a princess from a dragon. I tend to ramble on. I love to make speeches, but I can't stop talking now. I think the champion should have captured Eternatus by now. If you're curious, you can take a lift up. I. And that's all in this episode. If you enjoyed, like and subscribe. Hey, oh, uh, uh, I've been up for like two hours. Two hours. Yo, bitch, can food took a few showers. Few showers. I don't buy my just money dance. Yeah. That wristwatch costs a hundred grand.